Well, I think the number one job of the federal government is to defend the country. It's something that almost every American will admit they can't do for themselves, and almost every state will admit they can't do for themselves. I'm certainly supportive of our long commitment to authorizing how we do that. The defense authorization bill, as uh, Senator Thune pointed out, incredibly important. But the defense authorization bill really doesn't do much if you don't appropriate the money to do what the defense authorization bill says our military and defense objectives are. Um, you know, there are many people in the Congress, both House and Senate, who will always vote for the de defense authorization bill and never vote for the bill the money is in to do what the defense authorization bill says we're going to do. Um, all of you know, after two decades of being at leadership conferences, House and Senate, that I've said a lot of times, we are doing this in the worst possible way, but the only thing worse than doing it in the worst possible way with this one big bill at the end would be not to do it and kick it to a new Congress uh, that when the Congress uh, starts won't even have a Ways and Means chairman or a budget chairman on the House side or lots of other things. This is no fav favor to the House if we kick this to another year, and it makes it impossible to have a chance to, to get the bill that they are responsible for, the 2024 bill, done in the way it needs to be done. Uh, this bill uh, has, uh, you know, increases uh, defense spending by 10 percent, uh, increases non-defense spending by 5 percent, uh, with 13.2 uh, percent inflation uh, since, or 13.8 percent inflation since President Biden became president. Uh, I think we've done a good job of holding the line on the non-defense area and trying to keep the defense area where it gets where it keeps up with the defense needs of the country. Uh, the money for Ukraine will be in this vote, and you know we have an obligation. Our number one obligation to, to defend the country in the federal government, but I th also think we have and need to have an obligation to help people defend themselves and fight for their own freedom. That's in this vote this week uh, as well. And uh, I'm going to do everything I can to see that. It Good afternoon, friends. Happy Tuesday to all of you. New relief has been approved and millions of dollars have been allocated towards funding relief for low-income households to help with housing costs. Top analysts have also released how receiving extra stimulus checks will affect your tax refund next year. Americans may see either an increase or decrease in their checks due to inflation. Friends, please make sure that you watch until the end of this video for the complete details. Also, to say thank you for being part of this community. I am giving away a Walmart gift card every day this month. Please make sure that you enter these daily giveaways by clicking and liking several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. My friends, the more videos that you comment on, the greater your chances of winning these giveaways. A recent data report shows that a majority of Americans are feeling the effects of inflation and are living paycheck to paycheck. Their survey reported that 63% of U.S. consumers say they are living paycheck to paycheck which is a 3% increase from the previous month, but roughly the same as this time last year. A recent data report shows that a majority of Americans are feeling the effects of inflation. A survey reported that 63% of U.S. consumers say they are living paycheck to paycheck, which is a 3% increase from the previous month, but roughly the same as this time last year. The report stated Paycheck to paycheck consumers are less likely to be stable savers and more likely to lack savings and saving capacity. According to the report, the majority of those living paycheck to paycheck blame inflation for their situation, at least in part of it. The latest federal data has shown consumer prices rose about 7% overall in the last year. But some items like food rose much more. It is clear that more financial aid should be approved by Congress. Over in the state of Kentucky, Governor Andy Bashir traveled to Lexington to deliver a large check and an update to the Healthy at Home Eviction Relief Fund. Governor Bashir announced that the reallocation of nearly $15.8 million 
to support Lexington homeowners, renters, and landlords who are still impacted by the crisis and inflation. Those who qualify receive up to 15 months of rent and utility assistance, including up to 12 months of back rent and up to three months of future rent. Governor Bashir spoke on how this is coming at a critical time, especially since extreme cold is expected for this holiday season. Mayor Linda Gordon also spoke highly of the program, mentioning that the state of Kentucky has now provided more than $46 million to help Lexington residents stay in their homes. Qualified homeowners can apply for up to $35,000 in assistance with delinquent mortgage payments, property taxes, homeowners, or flood insurance, homeowners association fees, and utility costs. So friends, what are your thoughts on all of this? Do you think that all states should be providing extra financial aid to their residents? Please let me know your thoughts in the comment section below. The latest inflation data showed that rents remain stubbornly high in November, but real-time data suggests that national rental prices could ease heading into 2023. Housing is the single biggest chunk of spending for the average consumer. The overall CPI weighting reflects that shelter accounts for 33% of it, the most of any category. Shelter, therefore, has an outsized impact on overall inflation from month to month. Friends, the key word for this video is snowball cookies. If you would like to enter the next Walmart gift card giveaway, please make sure that you click and like several of my videos and then comment below this keyword, which is snowball cookies and additional keywords of any video of mine that you watch. And do make sure, friends, that you're also subscribed to my channel. Remember, friends, that the more videos that you watch and then leave a comment on, the greater your chances of winning the daily giveaways. The Internal Revenue Service is doing its best to get the word out that refunds may be much smaller in 2023. In an effort to help Americans weather the crisis, the federal government, with the help of the IRS, provided a collection of credits. Now that those credits have expired, you are likely to feel the impact at tax time. By the way, the IRS has also issued a warning about when you can expect this year's refund. According to several news sources, if you're accustomed to receiving a refund check or direct deposit into your checking account by a particular date, you will want to make an alternative plan this year. Depending on the age of your child, you watch the annual child tax credit boosted from $2,000 to either $3,000 or $3,600. If you opted to accept the first half of that credit between July and December 2021, you receive the back half after filing your 2021 tax return. But Republican lawmakers voted against extending the expanded child tax credit and the program expired in December of last year. As you estimate the amount of your refund this year, it is important to remember that the child tax credit is back to its pre-crisis level of $2,000 per child. There are also a few other changes. People and businesses who filed certain 2019 or 2020 tax returns late caught a break from the IRS. To help taxpayers who were impacted by the crisis most of those who filed before September 30th, 2022, were spared penalty payments. But friends, if you owe any money or pay your 2022 tax returns late, you may be hit with both penalties and the interest charge on the penalties until you pay the amount that's due. Well, my amazing and greatest beautiful friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video for this Tuesday afternoon. Thank you, my friends, for joining me here and watching the new videos that I have posted. Friends, I want you all to know that I sincerely appreciate every single one of you. I will be announcing a new winner for the Walmart gift card giveaway in a video later today. So please make sure that you do stay tuned for the video and also comment below the keywords of each video that you watch. Thank you, my beautiful friends, and have a wonderful and blessed week.